what's going on guys it's Ken Dog and today we'll be talking about top 10 stroke songs I uh, made it I perfected it I uh, went through all the details all the albums all the extra songs and I uh, put together a pretty nice list at number 10 I put Fast Animals, Slow Animals. I think the song is, is very groovy, and I just feel like it has a lot going for it. And that's great, you know, to see um, sort of that death that it brings to Come Down Machine being such a strong track. And I just love the lyrics. I love that it's very mysterious, and then it picks up and then it's roaring in the chorus, and it's just an overall amazing track. And number nine, I put At The Door. I feel like At The Door is just the best synthesizer, depressing Julian Casablanca's only vocal track we have heard. I feel like it's very uh, strokesy while being new and inventive. And I just really appreciate the effort he put into the vocals and just his falsetto and his, you know, dark output and tone. It just makes the track really well. And that weird fluttery angel vocal solo, it's just one oddball after another and you get to the end with just a distorted vibe outro it's just the perfect song uh next i put gratisfaction i believe we're at number eight it is just the perfect placement for this song it's one of those cool you know mellow uh groovy tunes that they made uh, from angles and it's just sounds like something from the 70s and the guitars you know they work really well together and basically like the solo comes together and pieces the song and I like how like each chorus he adds more and more to the lyrics and at the end the lyrics explode and it just flows very nicely you get a good payoff, all the instrumentation starts to roar. So it's a really good one to check out. After Gratisfaction, we have Juice Box, When It Started, and Trying Your Luck. So let me go through all three. So Juice Box is one of those songs that I heard from the Strokes when I first figured out about the band, and I instantly just fell in love with it. He was screaming in the mic, it was just, the music video was perfect, I liked it. It was the perfect, you know, teenage angst-like ah, kind of song. And it served the uh, First Impressions album really well because it sort of showed you, yeah, this album's gonna be a lot of solos and just roaring guitars, so get ready for a ride. It's definitely a fresh song no matter when you listen to it. Then you have When It Started, which I just feel like the drums really sell the song for me. The beginning, obviously, is basically the first five seconds of the song. I mainly want to hear when I listen to the song, just that na -na 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 -na. It's just so catchy, and then the lyrics are so good, and then it's just perfect pace. It's sort of just, can be like groovy and then it can be kind of slow and then it's just like I don't mind I don't mind because it's true and then we have trying your luck which I feel like when I was thinking of is this it songs to put in my top 10 I was thinking, well, this is the one song where I gotta say, I love the guitars, and the guitars basically landed on the list because it's just that song that has guitars that you wouldn't expect 
um, from a stroke song. They're just very vibrant and it was the first song to really show off. They have a weird sort of twang to their playing style. It kind of treads along very smoothly and it's just very fulfilling song. So when it started, boom. And then Brooklyn Bridge to Chorus. This is my number four song. I feel like what better way to top off a top 10 review by putting another new song because new strokes are popping. It's just all the greatest disco, groovy dance as all the twang and style and sass to make you want to just jump around and scream. It feels very sort of out there and it can take your whole environment and surroundings and just sort of you know take it over and it puts you in this, this place of synthesizers and blasting like <sighs> crazy track i don't know what else to say next we have meet me in the bathroom um basically when i was thinking of Room on Fire songs, it basically was sort of that or, I don't know, I guess Reptilia or uh, The End Has No End, but I feel like this one just has a better riff, a better lyric, a better tone. Uh, it sort of, again, slows it down and then picks it up and then brings all the inter instrumentation in the end. So, it's another great one. Now, at number two, we actually have a controversial one, Thread of Joy. Now, I wasn't even thinking of putting Thread of Joy on my list, but I, when, when I was really going through what kind of list I wanted to make, I wanted to make it fair, a future past present EP song in there because it has to be, no, it's more because I just kind of want it to be. Because I like the song, and comparing it against these other eight we have so far, I probably would say first initial listen was probably the best out of all these eight. I loved it at first sight. I never got bored of it. I was addicted to the music video. And then so you think, well... Did the song ever get stale? Well, no, not really. And there really is never not a time where I feel like I ever neglected the song or didn't want to listen to it. If I think about Thread of Joy, it just brings me joy listening to it. And at number one, we have You Only Live Once, which is, you know, basically what you would expect. 